So here we have a CMYK file with a texture and a red, green, and blue bar over top of it. What I'm going to do is duplicate this. I'm going to make this one into a RGB file. So I'll have an RGB file and a CMYK file that's exactly the same. So on the RGB file, you notice that the adjustment layer is all working and all the filters are working. But if you go to the CYMK file, the adjustment layers have a bunch of grayed out options and same with the filters. I've noticed there's some major problems with CMYK when it comes to hue saturation and different color adjustments, especially with my painted textures. Um, so what I wanted to do was make a little video to compare side by side exactly the difference in these adjustments because I, I know they're different but I just didn't know how. Now if I switch the bars to overlay things start getting even crazier. There's darker areas in RGB. Colors seem to go a lot flatter, quicker in CMYK. The overall palette is just completely different. See how it gets almost black in certain areas in RGB and CMYK. Still just looks like a green color. Strange. Now if we put the bars underneath the texture and turn the texture on to overlay on both of these images, and then we put a hue saturation filter over top of everything, you'll notice just how extremely different the color palettes are when you slide around the hue and saturation. CMYK turns solid colors, whereas the RGB actually preserves some of the textures and grains. I don't know why it's so much flatter in CMYK, but it is. When you turn it, the saturation down to, to almost gray, RGB actually preserves the textures, whereas CMYK turns one shade of gray. Weird. When you turn the lightness up on CMYK, there's still black pieces for some reason floating around. When you turn it all the way down to black, there's for some reason two different shades of black. There's a really dark black and a light black in CMYK. So let's, let's just go and look at that on its own. If you adjust the lightness all the way up on CMYK, there's still pieces of black in it. If you adjust it all the way to, to black, there's still light shades in it. So, I used to love working in CMYK, but now I don't. RGB is so much easier to adjust things. Um, one of the things you can do to make sure your file is safe is go to View Proof Setup, and select Working CMYK, um, and then go to Proof, or View, Proof Colors, and presto, your document image should change to colors that are um, viewable in CYMK. Um, now, I don't know why, when you do this, it looks completely different than the CMYK. It seems like it should be exactly the same, but once again, it's not. There you go. There's the working difference of CMYK versus RGB in Photoshop.